Good evening everyone. This is the last video of the month and tonight I want to talk a little bit, um, it's night here, I want to talk a little bit about um, giving thanks uh, for where you are right now. This is almost the end, uh, I don't know who participated but this is almost the end of Camp NaNoWriMo and even though I absolutely love NaNoWriMo, um, so that's National Novel Writing Month for those who are not aware of that. Um, like you see that everywhere, like NaNoWriMo, but a lot of people are like, "What is that?" It's National Novel Writing Month. It's usually the 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 the, the real or the official one is in November, um, but there are two camps, one in April and one in July. And even though I love Camp NaNoWriMo and NaNoWriMo in in general, um, I also know that challenges like that are. Um, if you have that tendency, they are great uh, for beating yourself up. So that is why at the end of this month, the end of Camp Rhino, I wanted to take a moment um, to remind you to also think about all the things that you did do that helped you be where you are right now and to give thanks to that. Like, I didn't... Um, so the thing about NaNoWriMo is that in, in November, uh, the goal, there's only one goal you can set, that's the 50k uh, words. So 50,000 words in one month, that's 1,667 a day. Um, that is the goal for NaNoWriMo in November. And uh, one of the reasons I love the camps is that you can set your own goals. So you can say, I want to work so many hours, so many pages, so many words, you can do whatever you want to do. That is what I love about the camps. For this, uh, Sandra, um, for this one, I actually thought, let's try 50k words. You know, I was like, let's just try it. I actually never do, like, I cheat with the regular NaNoWriMo because I actually love using NaNoWriMo to edit my stuff because I'm a much I'm much faster when it comes to editing than I'm in first, uh, first draft writing, which is one of the things that this month uh, taught me actually that for some people writing the first drafts is what gives them like you know they go really fast uh, and they hate the editing process for me getting that first draft out I don't hate it uh, absolutely not um, but it's a slow process for me there's a lot of thinking even though I do I am I am I am a plotter I'm not a pantser um, so I do plot but even then like I need to take lots of breaks because even though I have a plot it's always open enough um, that as I write, I let the dots connect themselves. I don't think it all out of on beforehand. Like I know the bigger, I know how the, how they have to. Get, um, I know how my characters have to go from A to B uh, to C to D, and then also I sort of know how that could interact. But usually these things, like the the smaller things, come to me as I am writing them down. And I'm like, oh wow, oh that's a good one, um, and that takes time. So that is something that I've embraced this month, that for me, uh, first drafting just takes an awful lot of time. Um, so yeah, I need to take that slower, like, it's okay. So I know by now that I shouldn't uh, use NaNoWriMo anymore to write first drafts. For me, using it to edit, that is like, that is the magic for me, because I can edit so much. Uh, last NaNoWriMo, I rewrote um, two novellas. Perfect. And I wrote some on another, uh, like I wrote some first draft stuff on one project. Because at one point I was done, like I, I edited like uh, 70,000. And when I say edited, I actually mean that I, this is my co-writing project. So I get the bare bone version of my co-writer, then I add to it. So I rewrote uh, about 70,000 words and then I had some days and I had some extra days and I wrote some other stuff, some first draft stuff for a project that I'm working on. Super. I felt very accomplished that month. Trying to write 50,000 words of first draft in one month, not my thing. I don't really feel accomplished. So I could be sitting here um, sort of like beating myself up over the fact that Again, I didn't do NaNoWriMo the way it's supposed to, and I cannot do it. But in fact, you know, the moment I let go of that, this month has been one crazy, like, flow of inspiration. It was really insane. Like, I've, 
I had so many new ideas. I'm actually working uh, for the sever uh, for this past few days. I've been working on two new book projects that came out of nowhere. Just me sitting still and just bam, there it was. I've been doing other things like this Wednesday, uh, very new for me. I'm going to do a tarot challenge for writers and other creatives, which is very scary for me because I have always tried to not connect those interests of me. Like I've always been the editor writing coach um before that it was like the before that i had like i there's i was the academic and the creative and then i sort of got rid of the academic only became the creative and then my spiritual side was like constantly like can i can i get in on that can, can i can i was like no no because i was afraid i was gonna um alienate my audience I was gonna be the weird one uh, which like let's just embrace the fact that I am a little weird it's all good uh, I the thing is ever since I started um, and this is something that I want to be thankful for to uh, tonight is that ever since I allowed for that spiritual side of mine to sort of like you know get closer to my um, creative writing side like the right people started showing up in my life. Even the people that are already there, uh, the connections became more intense. We started working together. We started having really good conversations. So I was like, this is exactly, exactly what I needed to do. But it was so much reluctance because I didn't want to be the weird one. Like I, I didn't want to be, you know, the, the odd one who goes like, oh, you have a writer's block. Um, should I like, pull out the tarot and see if we can figure out what this is. I might actually have to start doing that because it's it's really, um, it works for me. So why wouldn't it work for other people? Um, yeah, this is something that this past month has really been, like it's, I've seen a real big shift in myself in terms of what I'm doing, where I wanted to go. And I've always had this feeling that um, things were gonna, um, how do I say that? that things would change for me or that things would shake up a little bit as soon as I got to Cyprus. And yeah, it, it's happening. Like it, it is shifting, it is changing. It is, um, for some reason, I'm going off the beaten track and I'm trying to figure out something that's just me, that's just completely me. And that is very scary obviously because you know um, comfort zone but then again the magic happens outside of the comfort zone and I guess this means that I'm ready to look into that and see what happens if I connect it so hence for me the tarot challenge that is something that I came up with uh, this month um, at the very like at the beginning of the month uh, so I'm really excited so this is an Instagram challenge if you don't if you if you if you are creative and when I say so, Yes, Sandra, darling, I see them, I see them. Sandra has been sending me, Sandra Trumbull, she's amazing. She writes these amazing, amazing aligned books. And she's been giving me all the hearts right now. So thank you. Um, make, yeah, thank you. Um, See, so yeah, if you don't know what a tarot, cha what a tarot challenge is, um, they, they, they're a big thing on Instagram. Um, so go to my Instagram page and follow me there if you are creative and you're into cards. And when I say tarot, it means I will be using tarot um, for this, for my own challenge. But you can use oracle decks, you can use angel cards, you can use runes. There are like tons of ways of doing divination, so do whatever you want to do. Um, but yeah, for some reason, this is what I'm grateful for, that I had this shift this month and I'm like, I'm just going to do this. And if I'm going to alienate certain people or previous clients, that maybe these clients are no longer aligned with me um, and I'm trying to trust that that will mean that the right clients will show up, the ones that are aligned uh, with me. Honestly, um, I'm also realizing that the people that are already in, like that are already in my audience, actually are much more spiritual than I knew uh, they were. But I guess that's the fact because I didn't talk about it, they didn't talk about it. Now I start talking about it suddenly they're all coming to the fore and go like, oh, this is great, this is fun. I guess I have to dust off my tarot deck. And I'm like, you have a tarot deck? If you don't talk about it to the audience you already know, you don't know how aligned they already are. Um, so yeah, this is one of the things, like I said, um, 
where I am right now, this is one of the purposes, like I completely lost track here, uh, which as you know happens to me. Um, what I wanted to, one of the things that I wanted to say, if, if, if this is something that is difficult for you, like sitting still and looking back and, and, and realizing uh, what you've done, like the good things, like what, what, what's good in your life right now, I would say that this is one of the things you can do. You can you can sit, you can take your journal out, and you can go like, okay, so what did I? Where was I last year? Uh, even where was I last month? For me, like last month, this this has been a big shift in the past month for me. Uh, but yeah, where, where were you last? Where were you last year? Where were you five years ago? Where were you six months ago? Where were you uh, last quarter? Uh, what happened over the winter? Can you like draw a list of all the things that you did achieve? Like, I know it's so easy to look at, I wanted to be here, I'm still not there, what am I doing, I haven't been slacking, all oh, the procrastination, what can I prioritize, the things that are important to me. It's not unimportant to, to look into that. Like, it is important to look into that and see why you are sabotaging yourself. But at the same time, I think that if you, are, um, if you do procrastinate or if you do have trouble prioritizing your creative works, I think beating yourself up over them, that is actually more like, let, let's face it, um, I, and this is also how I treat my clients, um, the harder they are on themselves, the more love I pour in. And you could do the same to yourself, like every time you go, you know what, I am um, I, I'm, I'm here trying to, like, I'm beating myself up. Can you just see that? Can you see that for a moment and go like, you know what? How can I look at this from a perspective of self-love and self-care? That doesn't mean that you have to ignore the fact that you've been more lazy than you should have been or you have been prioritizing other stuff. But can you go at it from that other angle? Can you go like, okay, so I acknowledge this. I acknowledge that I could do better. But in that, can I stop beating myself up and just go, you know what? But this went okay. And if you look at the things that you didn't, like that you, you could have done better, could you then go like, okay, but I'm only human. So this is okay. But this is how last month has been. How can I then do it better next month without being mean to yourself, without um, punishing yourself in any way? So it's a double thing. It's both like drawing up a list uh, mentally or actually writing it down of all the things that you can be proud of right now, right here in this very moment. And at the same time, looking at the things that you can approve on, but from love, and the idea of self-care instead of, you know, the idea of how can I whip myself myself better into shape. There's no need for a whip. I honestly believe that the more love you give to yourself, to someone else, that is the only way to get to, um, that's the only way to motivate yourself. I don't believe in motivating people through fear or anger or punishment. I believe that if you keep showing up for yourself and for others from a place of love, the motivation, the inner motivation, so this is not external motivation, this is inner motivation, that will uh, come up itself because I think love will help you break down the blocks that keep you, uh, that keep that inner fire from burning and roaring and you need that inner fire to have that motivation. I got completely off track, but apparently this is what I had to say uh, for today. And looking at the comments, um, I'm, I'm, I'm doing okay uh, in terms of topic and content. Um, so yeah, take, sorry, take that moment um, and be grateful for it. Look into, like, be real, be realistic about where you are. Um, look into that. Be kind, Sandra says it right, kindness is incredibly powerful. Be kind to yourself, wherever you are, whatever you've been up to. Look on that bright side um, and do know that 
even if you are exactly where you are right now than you were last month, there must be a reason for it. So don't beat yourself up over it. Just try to figure out why. Why then? Why then didn't you get any further than you were? What is the reason behind that? How can you get out of that? How can you get your groove back? Um, just try. Okay, before I go, um, and Sandra's asking whether a cat is playing with no. There is no cat here. Uh, there was just me playing. Uh, there was just me playing uh, with the microphone. So sorry about that. Um, things that I mentioned the tarot challenge. So do join me um, if you are in any way spiritually inclined um, and you want to tackle some of your writer's block. There will be questions in general. First, the first part will be questions in general about creativity, about writing. And then the uh, last part will focus on a very particular pro uh, project that you're working on or want to work on. Or I'm not sure you want to work on it. Um, so that the second part will be much more direct uh, in terms of what are you working on. Um, and I will post the first, um, it's five or six questions, um, tomorrow on my Instagram. So that's instagram.com slash Mariella S. Smith. I will post um, the link um, in the, I was going to say the show notes. I've been recording podcasts <laughs> the past two weeks. No show notes um, in the description. Other thing, uh, it's almost the end of the month. So that means it's almost a new month. And that means um, that I will have two more uh, Pay What You Want sessions for my coaching um, in May. So of course I will remind you of that. But just know if you are on that I might need someone to talk to um, um, about my writing, about my plotting, about why you're not writing what you want to write, whatever. Like there's there's um, multiple ways you can use a writing coach, and people, my clients, use me in multiple ways. Sometimes I'm a sounding board. Sometimes we dig deep, and some like we like, we go from talking about why is my character flat to. Um, basically the childhood trauma uh, so this is like i do a wide variety of things so if you are thinking i might need help with that pick one of those pay and you don't have the funds uh um pick one of those pay what you want sessions because that is your chance to try out coaching and if you don't like it you're fine because you know pay what you want means if you don't want to pay me anything you don't pay me anything um if you are happy you pay what you can afford and that's it um, this is the reason I do that and also if it's later in the month like recently a um, great example because uh, this is the thing not everyone picks up these sessions because people apparently know um, that these sessions are meant for a very particular audience so I have um, a recently had a client it's, 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 it's a client that I've like it's, it's one, one of my uh, um, like I've worked with this person before um, but this person, I think, is really actually really uh, clever. Uh, it's really clever of her. She has a budget for writing, which you can spend on writing per month. Um, and she um, just, like, she just had only a tiny bit left of that writing budget because she invested in some graphics. Um, so she contacted me with like, do you still have one of those sessions available? And I was like, yeah, why? And she was like, well, you know, I would love a session, um, but I only have like this much left in my writing budget. I was like, that's okay, because I have a session. I have a session for you. You have a little money. We can talk for, we can, we can talk for hours. So we, 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 we talked about the plots of her new uh, a series she's planning. Perfect. She was happy. I was happy to work with her again. Um, and at the end, she just paypalled me the rest of her budget, and we were both really grateful. So this is the thing. It's like it's not um, even if you already worked with me before. Sometimes this is just what happens. You at the end of the month, you're like, the money's done. The money's almost gone. What do I do? Well, ask me if I still have one of those sessions left. If I have, you're lucky. Um, I love doing what I do, so it's not a bother to me. Um, so yeah, so um, that's Wednesday. When's from Wednesday on, you can contact me about these uh, if you want one. Um, and another thing, I see that on, like I have a little, very tiny little list here. Another thing, um, like I said, NaNoWriMo is almost over, and from Wednesday on to first of May, 
until the week after, so until the 8th of May, my 52 weeks uh, of writing program will be half off because it's like one of those, um, like the NaNoWriMo's, they give you that impulse, they give you the accountability that you need to keep writing. Uh, and that is exactly what my program offers as well. So I'm gonna um, offer that for half off for the week after NaNoWriMo. So just in case if you wanna stay in that spirit uh, and are afraid you're gonna slack off again and NaNoWriMo is over, pick it up. Um, I'm gonna put it on, it's normally 199. I'm gonna offer it for 99 euros uh, for a week. So I'm gonna put all of that in the, in the description. There. But do wait until Wednesday because um, the promo code won't work uh, until Wednesday. So do wait for that. Okay, I'm gonna bid you for all now, and then I'm gonna read through all those comments. Thank you so much for uh, being such a lively audience. Uh, and I still need to work on that, like the talking and looking at the comments and then responding. Uh, throws me off sometimes still. Okay, thank you so much. Have a good night and. Uh, See you next month.